This video is brought to you by your browser history and also Skillshare. Greetings ladies and genders and welcome to another targeted ad disguised as a helpful video hosted on YouTube.com. I get a lot of people tagging me in their art asking me to help with their drawings and one of the things that I see people struggling with a lot is drawing clothes. I get it, wrinkles are super easy to mess up. So I'm going to show you the cheater way to turn basic boxy shapes into beautiful clothes with accurate folds and wrinkles. By the end of this video, there will be a large gap between you and the rest of the people who are still trying to scuff their way through drawing clothes. So we'll see how quickly we can get you up here, okay? Start the timer, Michael. There's no one here in this room. I am alone and I am actually going crazy. And begin. What most people don't realize and what will set you apart from the rest of the pathetic plebeian scum is that there are really only three types of wrinkles that you need to think about. And these wrinkles can be repeated throughout your entire drawing, like a cheat code. It's so stupid. I'll start by listing them out and then I'll show you exactly how to apply them to your character because there's a secret to that. The only three wrinkles that I want you to worry about are the pinch folds, the zigzags, and the crunchies, okay? If you put your faith in the divine power of the three prime wrinkles, then you can let your mind relax about everything else in life. Pinch folds are where the material is being pulled and stretched to a single point. Example, leaves from the vine. What do you do when you hear Uncle Iroh serenade you with that sweet, sweet lullaby? Tears. And what do you need when you cry? A hug? Please. Healthy emotional support from a loved one in my Christian neighborhood, not happening. What you need is to hide the evidence. You pick up a tissue, and by the glorious grace of God, what magically appears? Pinch folds, baby. All pointing perfectly to your nose picker. Pterodactyl! Zigzags are where the material is bunching up and falling all over itself. Lots of crisscrossed lines and V-shapes. Example. Congratulations, your favorite e-girl mispronounced your username when she thanked you and a hundred other people who donated to her stream. Predictably, you, st <coughs> you stained your pants immediately. And also, just as predictable, your legal guardian washed them for you. And how do you thank them? Not by folding your fresh clothes and putting them away, but by putting them into the clean pile. Hmm. And amongst that pile of tidy whities and Minecraft shirts is a literal bunch of zigzag folds. There are zigzag folds everywhere. It is a bustling metropolis of zigzag folds. So whenever you see an e-girl, think zigzag folds, all right? At least until the end of November. Crunchies is whenever the material is bent and crunched into like a, an accordion shape, all right? Think folding your anime pillow in half. Now, if you think that I'm being, being too judgmental at this point, don't even worry about it. At least, at the very least, you know that Chizuru understands what you're going through. All right, she's a pro. What is happening to me? Now for that secret on how to use this sacred knowledge on your actual drawing. Here's a piece of advice, okay? Don't start with a good drawing, all right? Don't even worry about the anatomy underneath. Muscles don't exist in this dimension. Neither do pigeons, all right? Stop pretending. The only one you're hurting here is yourself. Just get some blocky shapes, okay? And trust in the sanctity of the three prime wrinkles. The pinch, the zigzag, and the holy crunch. Now let's go to the example that I did live on Twitch in front of thousands upon dozens of people uh, explaining exactly how to apply these rules to your actual character. Right here is where all the magic happens, okay? So pay attention as this once-in-a-lifetime masterpiece unfolds before your very eyes. You can thank me later. Can anybody tell me which part of our bodies our shirt is hanging on to? Shoulders? Correct. So you're gonna have some uh, body once told me shoulders are gonna create some pinch points. This material actually right here is all bunched up. But the thing is, we can't just draw it all bunched up. We also have to squiggle the outlines a little bit. So this is where it starts to get fun and interesting, okay? We're gonna erase this part right here. We're gonna just add a little squiggle. Don't make it too even. Evenness and symmetry can make things look unnatural. 
And that can be great if that's like a specific style you're going for, but generally you want to stay away from symmetry and uniformity. So if you have like three bumps, you don't want to draw them like, actually that's not too bad, but you don't want to draw them like this. You want to draw them like that, you know, generally more pleasing to the eye. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in with those half lock folds, baby. Crunchy part right here, okay? He's crunching it right here. So we got to add some wrinkles, but it doesn't make sense if we don't crunch up this part. Remember, we got to erase that part and then squiggle up the outline and then add some uh, little do duties right here. And if you want to get really super crazy, what you could actually do is like there's like a pinch point happening right here at the elbow, right here at the elbow as well. And then we will make that pinch point right there. We'll squiggle up a little bit of the outline right here and then create some like diagonally crisscrossy things. But actually, because this form is round like this, you can create those wrinkles to be going around in that sort of direction. We didn't have anything in mind when we started the shirt, right? It was just blocky shapes. Now, considering that we went from these blocky shapes to get to wrinkles, that's a really, really, really good result because you use zero brain power for these blocky shapes, right? And because you know the, the rules of where the pinch points are, you know where the material is crunching and you know where the material is folding down on itself when there's extra material. These three little rules, if you follow those rules, plug them in like a math formula, y equals mx plus b that b Now, is this the most beautiful folded drawing ever? No, but how much brain power did we use? We'll do the same thing with these jeans. <laughs> this is such a stupid pose, but I actually kind of like it. Back of the knees, crunchy time, baby. All right, right here, it's gonna be some extra material stretching out right there. It creates like a pinch point in the thighs and the legs right here and it's pulling the extra material there like that. Mm, yes, nice. Create some extra material down here at the leggies. All right, half lock time, baby. Erase those outlines, squiggle this bad boy up. Make sure that they kind of go a little bit in like a V formation, head rotation, you know what I'm talking about? Even in the knees right here, you can squiggle that up a little bit. And now he has some body once told me that he was going to wear some clothes with properly drawn wrinkles on them. And also very important, the little ka-ching ka-ching thing right here, little fly paper, that's how jeans look. Not this. Always remember that. The only thing that's left to do is give him high heels. Darling, you are fabulous. It's crazy how wrinkles make anything look good. <laughs> it's why your grandpa's so sexy. So, uh, yeah, I'll probably turn this into a YouTube video. You stream more than you post on YouTube. Yeah, I know. What are you going to do about it? Fight me? All right, let's go. Did I even hit you once? Oh, Wait, isn't this an art stream? No, this is Patrick. Big thanks to my supporters on Patreon and also Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare has a ton of video tutorials like this video you just watched here, but they're all organized like proper classes on stuff like drawing, painting, animation, creative writing, all kinds of juicy stuff. And there's one I keep mentioning on this channel by Andrea Pippins called Illustration and Action Creating Stylized Portraits. It's great. The first thousand people who click the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. You can squeeze so much out of that free trial. And if you want to keep going after it ends, it's less than 10 bucks a month for all the learning your body can handle. Thanks for watching my video. Now go grab a mirror and tell yourself you're wonderful because you are. And to those of you who are supporting me on Patreon, I appreciate you so much. I hope you have peaceful dreams tonight of a greased up Danny DeVito crab walking around an abandoned hospital in Moscow. Later, skater. I am actually losing my mind.